Okay. This thingy. Okay. That's right, I could do this. Or do you want like a chair to sit on? Yo guys, what's up? It is Fred Pie here, and today I am bringing you my first ever client build. And I know you can't really see all this stuff right now because I have my brother trained on me because I'm the most fabulous person ever, obviously. But we're doing my first client build and just a little information on this. Basically, while I was up in Idaho seeing my grandpa, and then my grandma convinced my, well, her sister, I guess it's my great aunt, that while well, they were talking, and eventually, somewhere down the line, they convinced her to buy a computer. And they wanted me to build it for them. So today I am doing my first, I guess it's my second client build, considering I built one for her too, but yeah. And I have this little guy who keeps just freaking butting in, in general, and he's sitting in the chair. Would you like to roll over here because they cannot? Oh. That's creepy. That what? is really creepy, actually. Hey, they can see me. Maybe they and can. I'm the you most have Sharpie on your forehead. I know. All right. I'm the most fabulous person. Well, he's actually going to be building this computer with me today, and I'm probably just going to throw it all off to him and say, here you go, dude. Have some fun. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what... That. Yeah. No, I'll help you. That's what our plans for today are, so let's get started. If I do this. <laughs> now, normally I don't even recommend using one of these if it's your personal build, but since this is something that I'm not building for myself and because this little turd head... <laughs> <laughs> Because he's going to be doing this, I don't want anything to go wrong and anything to get fried, so we've hooked him up with a little static dongle. We're actually building on a tile floor, just to double double safe ourselves, I guess, I don't really know. But yeah, so I have all of my handy dandy equipment coming out. So we have this little magnetic dish, which is good for screws, and of course, one cannot build a computer without all the magnetic screw tips that we need, so this is going to be great! Can we hook it up to this? No, because that's not bare metal. I'm bare metal. <laughs> <laughs> so let's actually get started here and get rid of all this mess. Kind of put some stuff aside and we'll get him right into the building process. Okay, yo. Yeah, well, has what? Elna Audio has a motherboard. That's what that is. Why do you always have static like. Okay, Shut! I'll pass this off to you. You want to cut this box open? No. Well, you're going to anyways. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Think the smarter way next time. Well, with that box, you do need to cut it. Not, it's not a big box. <laughs> I got it, I got okay. it, I got well, it. I got it, I got it! <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> Six hours later. <laughs> got it! <laughs> There we go. Weak. You weak, you weak. You couldn't weak. even do it with scissors. Okay, go ahead and pull that out. Instruction, instruction manual. Now, if you don't want to bit on camera, I'd say, you got to here right now. Hey, I don't care. Go put me in the instruction book. No. All right. <coughs> there we go. Look, he got it out all on his own. <laughs> Wait, it's so, not like you can put it. All right. Cut it. No cutting it. No, 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 no. Okay. So first thing first. No. Okay. Push down on this. And push to the side. No scissors. I know you like to cut everything, but we don't need to cut this. Okay, you don't want to hold it that way because if it comes out, you're gonna drop. <laughs> okay, very careful. Not right there. Just kidding. I did it! <laughs> yep. We Don't first touch CPU. it! I oh, don't know, we can touch this part, just not the bottom. Okay, now, no. flip this back down and seal it up. Make That's sure like... it goes under that screw. Here. There you go. Now push that down. I'll hold the motherboard. Uh-oh. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha! I got you. That's supposed to do that. Keep going. Push that down, bring it to the side. That way. You might not want to put your hand right there, dude. That's going to come pop off. Okay. There you go. Okay. Didn't come off. Stinking bugger. There you go. You seated your first CPU. How do you feel? I broke it. I no, you didn't. Yeah, you did. What the heck? No, I'm just kidding. This is supposed to come off. It's a plastic cover. Oh. Then yeah. I didn't break it. Nope. <laughs> All right, next step. This is my most favorite step. You want to know what it is? Cleaning the bathroom. 
Do you need to use the bathroom? <laughs> no. All right. It's this step. <coughs> Unboxing the memory. Now I know how to hold them. All right. So grab it like this. Make sure yes, this is the correct package. Okay, grab it like that. Align that little notch up with these little notches right there, and then push. Like this? Like, yeah, but you have to put it in like this. What, did you even line it up? Yeah. You didn't even line it up! <laughs> it's... There. Now push straight down. Both hands. I think it's already in. Nope, you'll hear it. Click. All right, this should be in all the way. Perfect, you mounted RAM. How do you feel? Even better? Gonna barf. Oh, don't barf, that's, that's <laughs> nasty. All right, so now what do we do? <laughs> yep, you sing amazing, huh, Hayden? Mm -hmm. All right, so I think this is a CPU fan header. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push, lay it, slide it down. Okay, take it. Oh, okay. Wait, let's see which way is the most optimal positioning. Sir. Okay, I think that is actually. Okay, so take this and set it down right over the CPU. So it touches, so that all these little peg thingies go in those holes. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah, never mind. Those ones. Those ones were a little, these ones are a little bit. Ta da! <laughs> yeah, when it turns on, that will start spinning. This is real metal. Mm -hmm. But it's not grounded yet. Pump it. I can't. We have to, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> but it's a screwdriver. Wait, you got it to go in? Yes, I finally got it after much trial and error. Okay. Lower it in. Sure, like this? Yes, I like that. Ah, just kidding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pull it back out. You put it in the wrong way. My fault. Should have looked. And try to curve it just a little bit. All right. Push it back. Actually, it needs to go forward on this particular device. Can you just go back for me? All right. That settled all of these. Oh, wait. Aha. I lied to you. We do need one more. It's pretty tight. So. I know why. I just learned something. <laughs> that since it's way too close, the the magnetic stuff is using it. Okay. Now let's make a little dude. All right. I'm gonna plug this fan in. While you make a dude. I'm just gonna put them all together. <gasps> All right, so we basically have everything done. Me and this little turd monkey, turd monkey, that's what you are. I uh, have this all done. I basically, we got the power supply in, he put this in. I and lost then all the screws. He lost all my screws. Ah, <laughs> oh, he put them on the bottom, little turd. <laughs> anyway, I did, I went around and did all the cabling because I knew that'd be boring for him and it's really tedious, uh, especially with these little panel connectors and everything. This looks like a bunch of trash and I'm very aware of that. However, in this case, there is, like you can shove a cable in these bays but other than that, there is nowhere to put cables, so all the power supply cables are in there, and this just has to be a mess. I am sorry if that gives you OCD. However, there's a side panel, and you'll never ever see it, so we're going to put windows on this thing and have it all tested out. Hey, can I just... All right, we have it all wired up. And Hayden, you want to push the power button? Mm-hmm. All right, power starts. Let's see if the monitor starts. I literally just stopped recording to go and see if I forgot to plug the cable in and the posts. So now we're gonna hook this up and I'll start installing Windows. All right, so I currently have everything. Okay, step. take a step back. So we have Windows and it booted up. We have to get a key still and I'm working on that. I just keep forgetting to do that. I'll probably do that sometime later today. We're not just gonna give this person and like, we're actually gonna buy a key for this system. It's not just gonna be like, oh, we'll give it to them and not actually verify. Because if you didn't know, you can actually have Windows 10 without having to verify a key, like actually buy a key to activate it. And you have pretty much full customization still. I mean, they do restrict a lot of things, but nothing 
on the program and software side really as far as I can tell so far but we're gonna buy that but I have everything really that they wanted transferred off of their laptop over here oh dear mind all the paper in the mess this isn't my house anyway everything off the laptop here is onto the computer that they wanted we have all of the programs installed that they're using and many more just, I did not really feel like a lot of them needed to be in the space right here but this program is up and ready to go we have all the uh, drivers updated so we have to worry about that this can I'm pretty sure I said this computer. If I said this program, I'm crazy. Anyway, but everything's ready to go. All the drivers are updated. Everything's working just fine. I haven't really put it through a stress test, however, I've just been using it in what, like the similar applications that they'd be using it in, and I've had no issues at all with anything. So I'm willing to say that this computer build was successful. Now, I'm just going to give a little brief explanation of some of the parts I chose and why I did that so that you guys can kind of more fully understand the whole situation and why we did what we did. Now, first of all, the processor is a very kind of odd processor. I've never really seen anyone highlight this, the Pentium G4600. Uh, now, this is the new one that came out with Cabby Lake. Most people just go for the G4560, I believe it is. That's the one I originally put in this because, hello, it's 20 bucks cheaper and ha is extremely good at performing still. Now, honestly, I feel like I could have put a Celeron in this machine after I have built it and everything, but this will be fine. It they really don't do a lot of complex tasks, so something like a Pentium will do just fine. However, I didn't get the G4560 because it was out of stock everywhere, and I was not willing to wait the extra, like, three weeks for it to come into stock on most of the big-name sites or whatever, or even be notified, so that's why we did that. Of course, we just got a regular B250 motherboard because there's no overclocking, and there really isn't any advanced features that we need for this person. Now, 8 gigabytes of RAM just because... I don't know, they're probably going to be using like Google Chrome and stuff, so they're going to need some RAM. Obviously, we could have probably got by with 4 gigabytes, however, 8 gigabytes is a lot and better. A 1 terabyte hard drive just because 1 terabyte hard drive the storage. The Rosewell, um, this is basically the cheapest case on the market at the time of building this, so I figured they want to go really cheap, we should buy that. Do I recommend this case? Pretty much no, kind of, yeah. I mean, it's the uh, it's cheap, like, look, like $25 right now. So... Those things do come through, like I'm looking at it now, and parts of it are like, the screws on the back are riveted in, but they're not even riveted, it's just like they hammered it in and it was crooked or whatever, so... The parts of the case that show it's cheap come through, but in the end, it is a very good case for our screen, an extreme budget. We really didn't need that many watts, so I figured 80 plus was good enough. Um, and then they wanted an optical drive, and we are going to get Windows 10. Like I said, we're not going to do that now. But basically looking back at this and things we could have changed, they gave me a $400 budget and I ran from there. And so I could have gotten something better or I could have gotten something a little less. If I would have put probably, like if I would have slapped a Celeron in here, maybe only 4 gigabytes of RAM, we probably could have taken the price down a significant amount, maybe 60 bucks. But in the end, this is going to be a great computer for them. I believe basic web browsing really doesn't take all that power, so I figured we didn't need an i7 in this. So... Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. As always, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, comment and subscribe. I just said that. What? Anyway, this is the end of the video. Peace.